What's up, guys, and welcome to Tennis Channel. Today is another episode of Tennis String Review, and I got Grapple Snake String over here. Well, one of my subscribers reached out to me and sent me a string set to review. Um, big thanks to that. Well, I got a Tour Sniper, a Game Changer, a Tour M8, or probably Tour Mate, and Alpha. I will do it one by one, but today is gonna be a tour sniper first. You know, now I'm actually on a mission of finding the right string for my Technifiber T5 ISO 315. I have put the Solingo Hyper G Soft and a newly launched Technifiber Razor Soft on this before. It played well, but it just doesn't feel right. It lacks some like crispiness. I know if I put the tour bike soft on it, it should work pretty well, but I just want to explore more options because there's so many poly string in the market right now to try. You might want to ask why don't I just put a stiff poly in it because it's gonna give like crispiness for sure. Well, I don't like to play with stiff poly that much, especially on high stiffness frame like this, and I have a pretty sensitive arm and wrist. Okay, a little bit of a background. The Grapple Snake is a German string brand, 100% made in Germany, and now they sell in the US as well. They offer so many product lines, as you can see in the video Tour Mate, uh, Tour Sniper, Alpha, Game Changer, a hybrid, Cube, uh, this one I don't know how to pronounce. And they also tell us which one is the softest as well and which one is the stiffest. Interesting. Okay, let's get on to the review. The Tour Sniper is a 5-sided cold polyester string. I strung it at 46 pounds on the main and 44 pounds on the cross. First impression, I gotta say it's like a Loxylon Loop Power and Slingo to a bite having a baby together. It's pretty firm, but not as firm as the Tour Bite. It's powerful and has good snapback like the Alu power. It has good control and tension maintenance like a Tour Bite and it has crispiness like both of them. The string doesn't require a break in period probably because it's pre-stretched from the manufacturing which is a good thing. The string adds the crispiness feel to the frame and I like it. I feel connected to the ball from the baseline and on the attack. The comfort is the only thing that sets me off because even though I strung it at like mid 40 like I normally go for, it's still a bit firm for me. Especially on this frame. It's like the high stiffness of the T5 315 and the firm of the string uh, multiply each other. It's a bit jarring on off center hit. I think it could be better match with like softer frames like the blade or stuff like that. The power is pretty good even on this slow chord. I can still generate pretty good pace without forcing it. I also have to be a bit extra careful not to shoot the ball out. The spin is above average, but I wouldn't say it has like a lot of top spin. I can feel the string snap back into place. I feel like the string adds a bit higher launch angle to the racket because normally I don't see the T fight 315 uh, to have this kind of high angle. The control is good like a tour bite, but I send the ball out sometimes like a loop power. Actually, I think the control is gonna be better if I can go with a bit higher tension. I will try it later on the blade just to make sure I don't hurt myself. The surf is pretty powerful but I just can't move the ball to the point that I want 100%. It goes to the middle of the box a bit too many times but the second surf has pretty good shape on it. Good spin, good slice. The return is solid. I think the string is good for like blocking and punching shot. I feel pretty good going with like compact swing and push the ball back. It's very effective on this one. At the net, good touch, good punch, good pops. Um, the only thing is the stiffness again 
there is one shot that I blocked the uh, backhand volley and I hurt my wrist just a little bit. To sum up, I think the grapple snake to a sniper is suitable for players who are looking for a blend of power, spin and control. If you like your loop power but you are sick of how fast the tension drop and you want a bit more control, uh, this string is right for you. The downside though is the stiffness which is a little bit high for players who have sensitive arms. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.